today's video, I will be um, installing an um, operating system called Jellios. It's called Just Enough Linux Operating System. And they have a uh, release for Orange Pi, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on a micro SD card. Then I'm going to run it on my Orange Pi 5 single board computer. So it says here you could use Etcher, you could use a Raspberry Pi imager if you have one, or Windows 32 disk imager. You could download it here if you if you do not already have it. I'll be using Vanilla Etcher, so you just download this. I downloaded a copy, and it's right here. So next thing you have to do is you need to unzip it. Uh, if you don't have a program called 7-Zip, you could get it here. This can you could uh, unzip various different formats like a dot zip dot rear and all all these different types of files so I'm gonna go here and unzip it okay So it's right here. This is what I want to copy on my micro SD card. So I'm going to start uh, Etcher. Select an image. I copy that. Paste it there. Copy that. So like that, select a uh, storage device. Make sure you select the right one because it's going to delete everything. Flash it. It take a couple of minutes depending on the type of uh, flash card reader that you're using in your micro SD card. Okay, so now it's verifying. This would take uh, maybe anywhere from a minute to two minutes. It's almost done now. Okay. Just pull the card out or the reader. Okay. I'm going to stick it into my orange pie. 5 SPC. See you there. Okay, so now I started uh, my Orange Pi 5 SPC with Jellios operating system in it.
Okay, so now I'm here. This is the main screen for it. Uh, the way I got here was I pressed uh, Control Alt F9. There's like a black screen after that, and uh, and then I just it just hanged there. So what I did was I just turned my computer off, and then I turned it on, and then it just I was able to boot it up like this. So when you get here, you have to configure the controls. Um, just stick in your USB controller. It's going to ask you to map the controls. You just map it, press a button. I'm going to use select as my hot button. Then press A and go back. Enable network. Host name is RK3588. Okay, now I have a network address. It's 192.168.1.126. Host name is RK3588. Okay. System settings. Okay, we can set the time zone here if you want, where you live. Uh, root password. I'll change it. Change it to root. Root 1. Okay. Back. Start. I'm going to go back to my computer. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my computer. Um, going to ask for the password so um, username is root the password that I made was root one where you put the ROM files got some ROMs let's see Atari 2600 Sorry, links. Game Boy. It's called GB. Genesis. That's called Mega Drive. And sixty four. NES, PC Engine, PlayStation 1, I think it's PSX, OK, 
Okay, um, 32x, sacred 32x. Sega, that's Master System. Super Nintendo. As for the BIOS files, um, they don't go into that configuration folder. They all, they all go into this BIOS folder. Put all that in there. It could take a while. Okay, so we're done. I'm going to go back to my SBC. So now I'm back on my Orange Pi 5 SBC, and you can see that all the games that I put in there are in there, like the Super Nintendo, PlayStation, PC Engine, Nintendo, N64, Sega Mega Drive. Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, Atari Lynx, Game Boy, Sega 32, Atari 2600, etc. There's a little problem here, and that's with the sound system. You can't use HDMI sound, that's why I'm recording with this camera. So you can go to press start, go to system settings, and to get the sound to work, you must uh, select audio device DAI link multi codes 2.0 this and for audio path I selected PCM and that works and after you do that it's going to tell you to restart um, your SBC and after you restart it you should be able to use sound You go here to change sound settings. I'm gonna turn it on high because I'm using I'm using the headphones here, so you can hear some of it. Press start. I'm gonna start the game and play it. Another th another thing about this thing is it's not what's not perfect about it is that um, I don't think it has GPU support. So it's very crappy when you play like 3D games like, um, I mean, uh, emulators that require 3D acceleration, like uh, N64 and stuff like that. As you can see it's working, the sound is working, but it's not coming out of HDMI, and that's the only problem. May hopefully they resolve this, but I think this operating system was designed for um, handheld video game consoles and obviously I'm not using a handheld video game console I'm using a single board computer single board desktop type of computer to get out it's uh, start select you press it again start select to get out get to the regular menu Okay, that's enough, so I'm going to get out of here also. So it does work. Press A to go back, and uh, let's see. Let's try N64 and see how, how well that runs. Let's try that. Before I do that, 
let me go back you could press this is exactly like retro arc so you could press select and change the emulator and stuff like that go here press B I selected this let's change it to this see what happens I want to set it to performance. You can set the aspect ratio as well. There's no option to change the resolution or anything like that. Shader set. It's default because I don't know very much about it. So let's play this game. It's very rough because I don't think it has 3D drivers for it, like Vulkan or OpenGL. So this is just playing on a software mode, I think. Very jagged edges and stuff like that because there's no 3D features like anti-scopic filtering or anything like that so it's, it's very very rough I think it's worse than a retro arc on Android it's slow too it's not a finished project pro product actually it's just I think it's just kind of like a prototype or something I'm gonna press B to A to get out as for the 8-bit stuff and the 16-bit stuff, there's no problems running any of that. All that stuff runs fine. There's no 3D acceleration in any of that. Let me get out. Let's try PlayStation, last one. Okay, this runs okay. No problems. Right, but it kind of like lacks 3D features and stuff like that. That's what sucks about it. There's nothing you do about it until they update it. So that that's all I want to show you today. If you have any questions or if you have any thoughts, you could leave in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. And we're just going to shut this down.